It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the New York Yankees and the Houston Astros. Now with the plate, Gio Urshela. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. All even now, two and two. Here it comes. We got three and two. Popped high in the air. Stubbs over to his left. One away. So the base is empty here with one away. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Heading out towards shallow right. On the move is Reddick. But he won't get there. It falls in. That is third. The second baseman. So DJ. now to the plate, DJ LeMayhew. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Aye. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. I think it's a real possibility that they put that runner in first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Aaron. No. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. And the slider gets him swinging to gone. Into the corner and slicing foul. And Duhar over at second. LeMahieu at first, two out in the inning. And it's fouled away. And he rolls over this one foul. We'll do it once more. Three and two. struck him out so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat but he'll take it as the inning is over striding in Michael Brantley he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first the one two Here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. To the plate now, Alex Bregman. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. On the ground to the right side. Oh, but a poor feed to the pitcher, and they won't get the out at first. So coming to the plate, Jorgen Alvarez. And Houston looking for more here in just the opening frame of the game. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. At the plate, Yuli Gurriel. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1-1. One, one. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's 2-1 and one now. 
And this one's in the dirt. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Three and one, here it is. Got him to go after the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Looking at his career totals, Springer is carrying around his sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge, well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Leading off the inning, Giancarlo Stanton, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Chopped toward the second baseman. Altuve fields it cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Next for New York, Luke Voigt. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. He'll try again, one, two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Two and one. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Now here's the pitch. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He went deep in the contest last night. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is under it. He's got it one away. Into the box now, Josh Reddick. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. So stepping in, Garrett Stubbs will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Cole gets the sign. Here's his offering. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. Here's Brett Gardner now. And he'll start out there half of the third. Top of the order to follow. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Two balls. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. 3 and 2 to the Yankee center fielder. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Gio Urshela. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. And there are two away now. Here's Miguel Andujar now. One for one after a single this first time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard, but foul. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. 
pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Reddick is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Now at the plate, Michael Brantley. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Had to sit back on the change up, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he fouls this one off. Another one sent foul. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Coming to the plate now, Alex Bregman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that misses two and two. Now this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Fouled away. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Outside and a full count, three and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. He finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now back, the second Digging in, Jose Altuve. Okay. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. The batter, number 44. Now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Standing in, D.J. LeMayhew. He drew a walk his first time up. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Bregman has it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that will bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. The 1-2. No runs, just one hit and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Nope. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Fouled off. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Giancarlo Stanton now. Change up, call to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man as a hitter. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side.
So striding forward now, Yuli Gurriel. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Now the three and two pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Another payoff pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Standing in, George Springer. And it's one and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Gardner is there, and he has it for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Carlos Correa. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Next to the at the plate, Josh Reddick pulled toward right center field. After it is Gardner. But he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Stepping in now, Garrett Stubbs. And this is low, ball two, two and one. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Digging in once again, Michael Brantley comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Hit sharply toward the right side. Judge will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at 2 and 2. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Luke Voigt becomes the first out of the inning. And another foul ball. The 1-2. Misses ball two. No runs, just one hit and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. So digging in now, Alex Bregman. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole.
can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Sanchez is after it, but the throw is late and he's aboard after the strikeout. Now the plate, Jose Altuve. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-1. One, one. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 2-1 home. Ground ball right side. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The first baseman, number five, Juliet King. At the plate now, Yuli Buriel. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. On to Voigt, an inning-ending double play. Giovanni Urshela. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the pitch. We got two balls, one strike. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Hit hard towards center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Now batter, the third baseman, Miguel. Into the box, and Miguel Andujar. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. One there to Guriel, and they get them both. Ready for another now shot back. now. DJ LeMayhew. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. George Springer the next to hit 0 for 2 on his line thus far. A 1 1. Hit sharply on the ground. In now, Carlos Correa. He takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Correa in front, three balls and a strike. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Zach Britton comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. So here's Josh Reddick in previous meetings with Britton over the years. He's a 375 hitter. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 pitch home. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Stepping now into the box, Garrett the Stubbs. Kid. He got called yeah, out right. on strikes his last time through. Oh. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Now so he got him swinging. Garrett Stubbs becomes out number two this inning. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Just hung in there on that one. Two men are on with two men out. Yeah. 
And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. And now a crucial spot. Bases loaded. Two men gone. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And now a crucial spot. Bases loaded. Two men gone. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Swing and a soft liner. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. So here's the cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Therefore, it is Springer, and he's got it for the first out. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. No hits to this point. One out, nobody on. Ball and two strikes now. Hey, he's been on point from the start of this game. Just pounding the zone with a high 90s fastball. It almost looks like he's gotten stronger as the game's gone on. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And it's fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Into center field, line drive base hit. Stanton on his way up to second. And he is in the second with a two out double. Now that the first base, Luke Boyd. Into the box now, Luke Boyd. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Jay Happ is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Last half of the seventh here. Striding forward now is the DH, Jorgon Alvarez. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Here's the 1 1. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. And he squares this one nicely and it's lined into center field for a leadoff single. The throw into second and he'll get in there safely. Now back the first baseman, Yuliette Glory hell. So now to the plate, Yuli Gurriel. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Popped him up. Boyd is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. 
two down runners at first and second. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Liner towards second, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping up now, Gary Sanchez. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. So this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. Now batting. Riding in once again, Brett, Brett Gardner. No, no hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Now the one and one pitch. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brantley on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in and looking for more. Gio Urshela. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. The 3 1 takes this the other way to right and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon now that third base at the plate Miguel Andujar this one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time well tying run on deck he should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in Count still full, three and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. of inning number eight set to go now batting Garrett Stubbs he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate yeah he's got to put that one behind him especially with runners in scoring position those punch outs will stick with you a little longer one ball and two strikes to count and he fouls this one off the one two well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Grounded back up the middle. Mayhew's got it, and the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So the Houston lineup turns over, and to the plate, Michael Brantley. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Alex Bregman will be next. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And he's able to hustle his way back, and as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now batting, third base To the plate now, Alex Bregman. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. The next 3-2. Popped him up. And Duhar has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So two gone now in the Houston eighth, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Altuve. hit pretty well out toward right center field after it is Gardner he's there to track it down and that'll end the inning so striding in DJ LeMayhew he went down on strikes last time up the 1-1 one, one.
And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. The next one two pitch. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats so the count will stay put at one and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Roberto Ozuna comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Stepping in now, Aaron Judge. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Aaron Judge becomes the first out of the inning. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. Osuna is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build a perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Last chance for the Yankees. Pitch is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now this crowd of 36,000-plus come to their feet. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row. And this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. Three nothing the final score in this one today. The Astros rack up a division leading 40th victory of the season. Jose Urquidy earns his sixth winning decision in this one as he struck out 13 in this one. Roberto Ozuna records the save, his 12th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Fans are final line for this afternoon. First for the victorious Astros, three runs on seven hits. No errors, they left 13 men on base. For the Yankees, no runs, five hits, three errors, they left six runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 43 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.